Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? My name is Nate, and today I'm going to talk about the Beggar's Bazooka. Now for those of you who don't know what this weapon is, it is a primary weapon for the soldier that I absolutely love. I actually picked up this weapon just a few months ago, and once I actually started getting how to use it, I realized just how amazing this weapon is. Now basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all the different aspects to this weapon, and the different parts to it that make me really love this weapon. So first off, we're going to go over the stats of the weapon. It's kind of like the rocket launcher in a way that it does like the same amount of damage, but the really nice thing about this weapon is that you can load up to three rockets at once and basically release all the rockets at the same time. So basically, instead of firing your rockets right away, you kind of have to load the rocket in first before you do it. So basically, you're not able to like store the rockets and just hold on to them for a while. Once you store them, you kind of have to release them immediately. It's kind of like a spray and pray method. So you have to load the rockets at the right time and know when you have to shoot them. Now this does seem really weird at first. I mean, like, when I first started using this rocket launcher, it was just so weird that I had to, like, load my rockets first before shooting them, and, like, I couldn't have rockets with me at all times. But eventually, I realized just how powerful this weapon is. And one thing you are going to definitely do with this weapon is what I like to call a dive bomb technique. Now, for those of you who don't know, once you load up past three rockets, your third rocket is going to misfire, and you're basically going to hurt yourself when you do it. Now, with this misfire, you can basically jump off of that like you would with a normal rocket jump but then you can still shoot the other two rockets right after that. So what you can do, is once you have three rockets loaded and you misfire your third one, you can jump towards your enemies and basically release the two rockets at the same time when you're really close to them. So you're shooting two rockets, one right after another, and you're doing a ton of damage because you're close to the people that you're shooting them at. And this is seriously really stinking powerful. It's kind of like a hit and run technique, where you jump at them, you shoot a bunch of rockets, and then you jump away. And seriously, you're going to use this all the time when you use the Beggar's Bazooka. It's a super aggressive way of using the rocket launcher. Now another thing I really love about this weapon is that you basically don't have to ever reload your rockets. Now of course you sort of have to like preload your rockets and, you know, store them up. But if you shoot one right after another, you can shoot a ton of rockets without ever basically having to reload. As you can see here in this example, I'm basically just loading one rocket and immediately shooting it right as soon as it's loaded. And I can just do this over and over, kind of like it would with a normal rocket launcher, except I don't have to reload. This is actually really sneaking effective. Now another thing you should know, however, is that the Beggar's Bazooka is a little bit slower than the normal rocket launcher. As you can see here in this example, I have the two rocket launchers side by side, and the normal rocket launcher shoots a little bit faster because they're all just stored up and you can just hold down the fire button. With the Beggar's Bazooka, you have to load each rocket individually. Now another thing about the Beggar's Bazooka is that it has a little bit of rocket deviation when you shoot it. The rockets won't shoot exactly where you want it to go. And basically, the rockets shoot a little bit off from where you're aiming. So as you can see here, when I'm shooting towards this wall, it kind of goes away from the exact spot that I'm aiming. This can make it a little bit tricky when you're trying to aim at something farther away. And as you can see right here, when I'm aiming really far away, you can see that the rockets totally go a different direction than you want them to go. And this is why the weapon is especially useful when you're closer to people, because the rockets don't go as far away, and plus you can just do a lot of damage on top of that. So because the rockets don't shoot exactly where you want them to, this makes it a little bit harder to do stuff like air shots and taking out sentries that are farther away and all that. And that's why it's important to jump towards the person first and then release the rockets. Now because you have to preload your rockets, it's important that you have to make sure to check your corners at all times. Because if you run around a corner blindly and you don't have any rockets stored and there's a person there, they'll probably be able to shoot you faster than you can. So one important thing to do is to shoot maybe like one or two rockets every time you go around a corner to make sure there's not another person there. So it's really good to know where the other team is, and where the other players will be walking. Now because the Beggar's Bazooka doesn't get ammo from dispensers, it's going to be a lot harder to get ammo from different places. Plus, because you're checking your corners with your rockets, you're going to run out of ammo a lot faster. And I especially have trouble making sure I have ammo all the time. Because of all the checking I'm doing, and all the spamming I'm doing with rockets, I need to make sure I know where the ammo packs are around the map. Plus it's important to look around for weapons lying on the ground, so you can get ammo from that too. So yes, watching your ammo is really important, because you're going to run out of it really quickly. Now the last thing I really absolutely love about the Beggar's Bazooka is the rocket jumping. Now of course rocket jumping is weird at first, because you have to load the rocket, and you can't just shoot immediately. But with the Beggar's Bazooka, you can actually still do normal rocket jumps like you could with the normal rocket launcher. And that's really good, because rocket jumping is important. But what makes rocket jumping with this weapon really awesome is that you can store rockets and basically shoot them really fast one after another. And this can basically set you up to go really fast, really quickly. As you can see right here, I store two rockets, 
and because I shoot one right after another really quickly, I can gain a ton of speed and just go flying across the map. And you basically gain a ton more speed than you could normally with just like a normal rocket launcher. Plus with the bigger bazooka, you have the misfire which allows you to basically just do normal rocket jump too. But you don't have to actually hit a surface to go flying into the air. As you can see right here when I load three rockets, I can basically jump off the misfire, but then I can jump off of it again when I'm still in mid-air because I don't have to hit a surface. So I'm basically just soaring across the map without even touching a wall. It's actually really awesome how it works. In fact, later on, I'm going to make a Baker's Bazooka jumping tutorial, because there's just so much to it that is really cool and I wanted to teach you guys about. Anyways, in conclusion, I just want to say how much I really love this weapon. I mean, it's great for taking out sentry nests when you're like really close to them, it's great for taking out a ton of people when they're close to one another, and it's like especially great when you use the buff banner, because you get like those mini crits and it does even more damage than you would normally. So there's just so much to this weapon that makes it so much fun to use, and it's a really aggressive way of playing soldier. Unlike at first, when you use this weapon, it's going to be really weird, because loading your rockets first before firing them is just, you know, it's totally different from what you normally do. So it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to it first, but once you actually get the hang of it, it's so stinking useful. It's probably become my most favorite rocket launcher in the whole game. Because you can do a ton of damage, and you can still rocket jump around the map, which is awesome. So yeah, I would say go try out this weapon, take some time to get used to it, you know, and you'll see just how awesome this weapon is and just how useful it can be in a lot of situations. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, thank you guys for watching. I hope all of you can try out the biggest music a little bit, because it's awesome. I'm going to make another video later showing you how to rocket jump with it, but until then, I will see you guys next time.